frankly, I don't think Kyle gets enough credit pre-2016 to calling the Trump thing. Like, I think between the three of us, Kyle, like, I was like, there's zero chance he wins. I, Woody was like, there's no, there's very little chance. I think Kyle was the one who was like, yeah, I think he's got it. Maybe that's what I lost him. money on was the Biden Bernie thing. Like I got that was every that. other person. Do you guys, Biden I'm just saying, Kyle called the Trump thing pretty good. Like, did he? I might have. I, I don't. I don't remember exactly. I, I thought you did. I, I will I'm say wrong. this: the week of, like election day, I, I think that I, I think that I called that Trump was going to win long before it was even close. But what I, but on like the week of, like when it was time to go, I had no confidence. It was gone. This is my favorite part of election night because this <laughs> killed me and I fell for it. Chiz and I are rooting for Hillary. Right. I know it sounds stupid now, but we were rooting for Hillary at the time. Kyle and Taylor were rooting for Trump mm -hmm. and Chiz, we're this. following it together. And Chiz is saying Trump has won. It's, he's virtually run. Hillary has to win every state. And Taylor is feigning confusion. <laughs> I don't get it. I still think Trump's going to lose. And he made Chiz explain <laughs> how his person was uh, – unwinnable how it was hopeless already like six <laughs> times like, like, I, mean, I, I made him explain it so many times <laughs> no, the night and, and, because then it'd be like and now north carolina goes trump and i'd be like i still don't see it chiz <laughs> <laughs> and then he would spell it out in a huge text and i would just respond idk like <laughs> that was and such chiz a fun night really i had so much fun that night. he'll write six <laughs> paragraphs in his reply like and i'm not even exaggerating four six paragraphs is commonplace it, when he's like going on it and taylor had him going so strong and i i'm stupid Dude, he's hitting clear. me with six paragraph responses for just lols <laughs> like i just go lol <laughs> it was oh, it was, was such an insane night i can remember <laughs> yeah I, like, like again it was going to be a bad day for me like, like i knew that hillary clinton was going to be the next president and I was upset about it, you know, as someone who, who was making their living, like with a gun channel and like mm -hmm. building guns and shooting guns. It was like, oh, fuck. Hitler got, got elected today. This is bad. Yeah. She's like our she, she's it, it, she's the worst for this. Hillary, she's the worst. I thought Biden was worse, but I'm still listening. Uh, we did not clearly like look at we all he's done. <laughs> we did not like her or the prospect of her. It was it was like, oh, shit. yeah, she was sort of held up there as the antichrist we did mm -hmm. not like the prospect of her for a number yeah, of reasons yeah. but that was a big one for me i was i was upset and then I, I so i slept through like the deciding like minutes when it was like um wait a minute maybe maybe something is happening nah nah like, like when there was still confusion mm -hmm. i slept through that i woke up and they were like we might have something here boys like it was already in full like wait a minute we're doing mm. they were doing all that math and it was like well hillary just needs to win like every fucking county <laughs> in eight states that remain and she'll be fine right and i was like <laughs> looking at my girlfriend i was like they're worried look at these your wolf blitzer looked worried i was like it wolf was blitzer. so great I, I was like i was like he's one he's one i think he's one they look so scared all right, she probably still pulls it out, but they're going to be scared all night. This is fun. And it became more and more clear that no, they're scared because they know that it's a long yeah. shot. And 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 then you got to see the Hillary supporters crying, tears, <laughs> tears. <laughs> and, and like, say what you want about how cringe Such it is. Fucking to talk. losers. Imagine and, crying over a presidential choice. Maybe it's cringe now to talk about liberal tears, but I'm going to tell you. That night in 2016, liberal tears were so, so delicious. You could taste them through your TV screens because these were these weren't your average liberals. These weren't people who were like, I don't know. I just think that maybe health care shouldn't, uh, you know, cost a million dollars if you break mm -hmm. if, if you have any you know, a heart transplant or whatever. Sure. Common sense liberal things. We're not talking about those people. We're talking about the people who were waiting in line in front row at a Hillary at the Hillary announcement like hand-picked cattle out there and watching them cry oh it was tasty my friends that, that was that was, was a red day i i still like that is going to be a memory that i keep forever i still remember sitting there on the couch having until it on alzheimer's my TV. takes it from like you. yeah until alzheimer's comes in and all I'm, those I'm, diet I'm, coke sodas you're green all those all those you're like, green. <laughs> i've been drinking you're green i remember Taylor, watching keep, it and being it away i remember being like oh my god like this is going to happen 
and then texting back in our group chat and being like, I don't know, Chiz, I don't see a path. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fucking funny to me. I was having I, so much fun that night. <laughs> I can tell you that the one thing that I realized that was the first uh, election. I was 24, right? So whenever Obama went through his last term, that was not necessarily a highly contested one. I felt no yeah. need to drink underage and, you know, have that fun thing. So for this one, I was like, I can't wait to play uh, uh, a drinking game around election night. So for every state they call, we'll do half a shot in whichever direction they call mm -hmm. it. And so we're like, all right, well, we'll do half a shot for every state Trump calls. It's a rookie <laughs> mistake because they start in the Northeast. There's about 400 states up there. So they call them in waves of <laughs> eight. True. And they're like, Trump has won the Southwest. So that's like, you know, it's like 13 states. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, all right, well, I guess we're ripping six and a half <laughs> shots. And so I didn't even make it to the Midwest. Like they were, they were over there like dabbling with Chicago. As soon as soon as he took South Carolina. Yeah. Out. <laughs> I mean, I literally woke up at four in the morning um, How are you not guaranteed to do 25 shots in this game? I don't think I understand. Well, well, because you pass out. Okay. okay. <laughs> like, I don't you know. Like you do have a shot for every state they call. And I'm like, well, right. So they, so they go and we're calling New Mexico. Like, you know, for, I don't know. New Mexico is over there. They're like, yeah. they're called New Hampshire, Arizona? Vermont, Maine. Like they all get because they all close at the same time and they all vote similar ways. It's pretty mm -hmm. easy to call Mississippi, you and know, and. People. Yeah, in Louisiana and all, and they have like whatever, so they can make a trend choice. And so yeah. when they when the they start closing at what I'm on West Coast at like uh, polls close at eight p.m. Right, so it's mm -hmm. five p.m. my time. Time to drink. Yeah. <laughs> time to drink. It's five o'clock. Polls close somewhere, maybe. So like by <laughs> by around nine p.m. I'm shit house because they've made it through the entire eastern seaboard and that's like half you're of our like, state. Like still waiting for Illinois to post. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> already yeah. shit house. Like yeah, just oh, like guys. I, I really, sh I really think Montana's gonna bring it back for. Her. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I think, you know, she only has to win Montana and Idaho. To, <laughs> to really and, you know, the Hillary point. loves potatoes. I've seen her campaign in a five, I, I guys. I do remember, like, the first half of that night watching yeah. and being like, there's no way. Yeah. It was, it was no wild. Way. He's he just kept that. winning. He won Pennsylvania. Oh my God. He just kept winning. Trump and the, might be the president. And, the and, and like in the previous elections, I remember that like Florida and Ohio were always very contentious and it took a while to figure them out, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and there may have, there may be a North Carolina has been more blue for a long time, but, but I think it's been contentious. No? Um, no it's, we're it's, red. North we were blue for Obama one time, one. but we're mostly red. Okay. It, it's pretty purple. Might, pretty red stuff. Carry on. I, I think that was a it's contentious a one, maybe state, during the though. Bush years. Uh, I, I I kind of think of it that way, but like like when I when as soon as I turned it on, it was like, oh, Trump's already taken like a lot of the stuff that he's that she's like he's not even supposed to be close on. He's supposed yeah. to be eight points behind, and he won by four. It, it was stuff like that. He was dude. Just it was these... a it was like watching <laughs> Genghis Khan conquer a nation in quick time. Where it was like where it was suddenly realizing like. Oh, everything the media has been saying has been from the perspective of New York and L.A. people. A lot of middle Americans really like what saying fuck you to the establishment that be. And that's the way I see the Trump vote in a lot of ways. Oh, that's totally. the way I, that, that's the reason I voted for him both times is like as a fuck you of like you, you people in Hot or not Hollywood, you people in, in D.C., you're such duplicitous fucking monsters. Fuck you. I'm going to put the apprentice guy in if I can <laughs> go eat my ass. Fuck you. All you talk about is how we need more rights for individuals in the American public. And then healthcare doesn't come. Nothing comes. All it ends up is you guys clasping hands in the end with the Republicans. So you can fund more wars. And a lot of people voted for him for that reason. I know I did as a, like, go fuck yourself. Like, we we first are tired president, of you. I think he's the first president in our lifetimes, any of us, who didn't start a war. Literally the first president in 60 years that did not, not start a new conflict. Yeah. Like so, so that and part so of him what has he done for America? Really, when America is the military industrial complex, he, 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 yeah, yeah, he didn't do shit. He I hate it. He should have started at least three more wars. Libya was looking mighty fine during that time I don't know, but obama already crushed libya 
Where? Where's you have, next? You where's have, our next target? Where's the next war? Where's the next target? Well, clearly the target they wanted was Antarctica. Iran. Yeah. Well, you just don't think enough about Raytheon. And what about their? <laughs> you don't think you don't. What about what about Boeing? What, <laughs> what does cool Boeing have to say? Free. <laughs> <laughs> Lockheed Martin or people? Can we?